Hi, this is a quick video to show you how to convert an existing terrain to Megasplat format. Uh, in this case, I've loaded up the Map Magic example scenes. Um, so their main example scene contains this terrain, uh, but this could come from any program. It could be Terrain Composer 2, it could be Gaia, etc. So uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, basically you know, just convert this into Megasplat format. So if we select this Map Magic um, terrain, and we load up our terrain painter, and we can dock this over here. Uh, it will prompt us with the set everything up for me. Uh, so what this does is create all the textures needed uh, to set up the terrain, um, and creates the shader for you, which you can then uh, edit. Um, so that's a really nice way to set things up. So we're just going to click that. So if you give it a second, it's going to create a uh, new shader, uh, material, and um, uh, control texture for us. So there we go. And import. Okay, so now we have our terrain. It's converted to Megasplat format, and it is completely um, you know, textureless. And that's because our uh, materials have no texture arrays assigned. So now, if we actually select the terrain objects here, and we go to their settings, you can see it made a custom material for us, terrain 00, it used the name of the terrain. Uh, and so now we can go here, we select terrain 00, and you can see it has its splat control set, uh, set. The first thing I'm going to do is change the texture packing to normal smooth AO. Uh, this is the texture packing I like the most. Uh, it gives you really good efficiency um, and you still get a full PBR surface. So then what we're going to do is assign an albedo height map texture array and a normal SAO array. So let's select the albedo one. We're going to select the mega splat diffuse texture array. And then we're going to select the normal SAO texture array and mega splat normal SAO texture array. So now uh, we actually have our te textures on our terrain. However, you'll notice they're quite blurry, and that's because we haven't set the tiling uh, size of the texture scale. So let's set the texture scale to something like maybe 80, uh, just to get going. And we can see we have one uh, terrain texture tiled over our whole terrain. So now what we want to do is recover the, uh, the paint job that was on this. So mega splat works very differently. Uh, than your traditional shader. Um, that's why it's able to have hundreds of textures, uh, but that means we need to convert from our traditional um, uh, terrain splat map to uh, our current splat map. So what we should do is select the terrain, and uh, right now we don't have a texture array config assigned. You'll need that. So we go ahead and select that and select our diffuse uh, texture array. Um, so now we can see that we can uh, paint freely on this terrain if we um, activate, make our brush a little bigger than this, and you can see here I can paint on this terrain. Uh, but what we really want to do is recover the paint job that was created by Map Magic in this case. Um, so what we're going to do is switch to the Utilities tab, and we're going to use the Terrain Converter. So we open this up, and it's going to ask us for the Texture Array Config again. I'm going to select that Mega Splat Diffuse one, and what you'll see here is that we now have a mapping. These are the original textures that were used uh, on our terrain that Map Magic was using. And what we're going to do is map these to texture clusters in Megasplat. So texture clusters are basically a collection of textures to make a surface. Uh, it's nice because you can blend multiple textures together to create really complex surfaces. So what we're going to do is find something that looks similar. In this case, I'm going to choose this rock cliff texture here. And then for this grass, maybe I will choose to have a nice, uh, I could do the moss, but let me just do the grass. Got some stones, here's grass. Uh, for this, we need something a little darker. This one actually matches up pretty well, so I'm gonna leave that. And we're gonna come over here, and maybe we'll use this rock dirt, okay? So now we've ch chosen, you know, from our original textures, uh, you know, what clusters do on the map, those two, those could be the same textures. Um, but uh, I just have a nicer set of textures in here uh, that I like using. And then when we're done, we just hit convert. 
and it'll process this mesh, and boom. Now we see that the paint job that was created by Map Magic is uh, assigned. Um, it looks at its data and tries to convert that to Megasplat format so that we're using the textures and clusters uh, from Megasplat um, in this shader. So we can actually go in now, now that we've done the conversion, and we could paint other stuff in here. You know, we could paint some sand or whatever we want and continue to add more and more textures to our tray. So I hope that uh, makes it clear how easy it is to convert from an existing program. Uh, now there are some uh, programs that are doing direct integration with Megasplat, and that's really exciting because then they will be able to generate uh, these trains taking full advantage of uh, Megasplat's hundreds of textures. But if a program does not support that, you can still use that program uh, to generate some terrain, or maybe you've spent time uh, painting a terrain, and you can just convert it into Megasplat format. So thanks for watching, and hope you're enjoying the product.